Hello guys and welcome back again to Tools and Gadgets. For today we are going to be fixing the RTX 3080 thermal problems, the thermal throttling of the RTX 3080s. So I'm currently mining right now so these are my temperature it's around 59 degrees Celsius for the graphics card processor but when you go right here the GPU memory junction this one right here yeah it's around 108 to 110 degrees Celsius and the MSI RTX 3080 is known for uh, overheating probably almost all the RTX 3080 and the 3090 because of the GDDR6X memory which is sitting right here on the back plate so for today let's see if we can get this down the 110 degrees Celsius so I'm currently setting the power limit to 70. I could not really push it hard because of the thermal th throttling. <laughs> Sorry guys, thermal throttling. So let's see if we could bring this down to a more safer levels. So that we could get more hash rates. As of now we have 70.78 mega hash on Ethereum. So I'm just gonna place this camera down for a sec and I'll show you when it's done. Also, by the way, guys, this is to avoid um, to avoid the warranty getting voided. So we'll not be opening the back plate. We're just gonna be placing a heat sinks. These ones. Yeah, we're we'll placing a lot of these ones. It already has a thermal double-sided on the back. So we'll be placing this all over the back plate of the 3080. So that's it. Oh yeah, by the way, after Closing down the miner, we're sitting at around 74 degrees, 72 degrees Celsius on the GPU memory junction. Yeah, so we'll see if there's any changes after we put the aluminum heat sinks on the back plate. Okay guys, so we just finished placing the heat sinks. So my placement is like this on the VRAMs which is on the side and I tried tapping on the back plate and I saw that right here this spot right here has a little bit heat to it so that's why I placed heat sinks there also by the way I have the MSI GeForce RTX 3080 Gaming X Trio so this is very known for overheating the thermal throttling yeah so let's go on and see our results. We always use the HWI. Okay. So this is just to avoid the uh, voiding of the warranty. So we didn't open the back plate or anything. We just placed the heat sinks. And moment of truth. Where is the... Okay, here it is. RTX 3080. We are sitting at around 58 to 60. Yeah, we'll just 
let it warm up for a bit by the way I have the 14 by 14 millimeter uh, heat sinks uh, so we are focused on these guys the memory junction temperature we are at 50 degrees Celsius right now so let's try and fire up mining so this is the setting a while ago that made us reach the 108 to 110 memory junction so let's see how effective this is okay let's go usually guys the memory junction would straight go up to 100 degrees celsius so at this overclock setting i expect it to go 108 to 110 without the heat sink so right now we'll try to check if it still reaches the 108 to 110 well it's really promising but we're still going up 102 104 so it managed to scrape uh, okay it's still going up so the fan just kicked in to about 85 percent we'll see it still went up to 108 hmm still at 108 is this not working? <laughs> so that means I just wasted my money on these heat sinks by the way, if this doesn't work, I have a thermal ride uh, thermal pad coming on the way. Okay, so it just went up to 110. Hmm. But, but guys, a while ago I was having around 76 mega hash, now it's up to 80 mega hash at around 110 degrees memory junction temperature but this is still not ideal we need to bump this down around 80 to 90 degrees celsius so this is still way high yeah that is still hot so by installing these the heat sinks i managed to get around four to five mega hash additional on the miner yeah so I'll let this run for about 10 minutes and see if the junction temperature is still at 110 or the hash rate will go up so right now as you can see we're at three minutes okay so I'll be right back guys Okay guys, so as you can see we're on the 10 minutes right now. I think there's a slight decrease on the mega hash, but still there's a performance improvement. We're still running at 110 degrees Celsius, so right now the room is around probably around 28 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius. So what we're gonna try is that this is my settings to lower down the temperature usually hovering around 104 to 102 let's see if that goes down okay so 
I'll take you back again when we reach the 15 minutes mark. Okay guys, so we're at 15 minutes. So this is the hash rate. We're at 66 degrees Celsius on the GPU. And we are 104 degrees Celsius. So it made a two degrees Celsius difference it managed this managed to drop it around two degrees Celsius so these are my overclock settings so drop a comment down below guys if you think you have a better overclock settings for me to try out this is the 3080 right here and this is my 2080 on the 2080 I have the settings already which manages to bump the 37 all the way up to a 42 yeah it's going up So for those of you guys asking, this is my settings for the Gigabyte RTX 2080 Windforce overclock. Yeah, it managed to bring down the wattage at around 134 from 170, 180 watts. And it managed to bring the hash rate up by around 5 mega hash extra. So guys, let me know in the comments below what are your RDX 3080 overclock settings because I still could not find the sweet spot for this graphics card since it's barely new. So once again, thank you for watching guys, tools and gadgets. Hit the like and subscribe button below and see you again in the next vlog. Bye.